friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki, and it is the most wonderful time of the year. I finally got this little card. How can I show you without showing my address? Uh, saying it is the spring bonus sale. And I thought I wasn't a Rouge member anymore, but apparently I still am because I have a makeup addiction. So let me tell you the date. So for Rouge, by the way, I'm talking about the Sephora VIB sale. So they have a spring sale where you get 20% off. Well, at least for Rouge, it's April 26th through May 6th. VIB, you get 15% off May 2nd to May 6th. And Insiders, you get 10% off from May 2nd to May 6th. I don't know how I'm still a rouge, but I am. Okay, whatever. So I will leave a link to the sale down below if you want to check it out. If you have no idea what Rouge, Insider, VIB, all that stuff is, I did a full video talking about Ulta's rewards programs and Sephora rewards programs. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. And I also tell you about a lot of the new features that are happening with Sephora and Ulta. So I thought it would be fun today to do a bit of an anti-haul anti-sale, anti-haul. So basically I did a video saying all the things I'm going to buy for the sale, which I did two weeks ago because I was really eager because I'm really excited for this sale. So I wanted to talk you guys through some stuff. I'm just not flipping interested in buying. I've got my laptop here because we're always talking about buy, 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 sell, sell, sell on YouTube, but you can't buy everything. So why not share what I'm not gonna buy for once? So let's jump into it. Don't get offended if you're picking this stuff up. It's just beauty products to each his own. All right, start starting with the Fenty Beauty Bottle Body Lava Body Luminizer. I do not need a body lava for $60. It's $59. No. So are you supposed to put this on your body? Obviously. A shimmering body liquid veil, skin in a high shine finish. Listen, listen. <laughs> I love Fenty Beauty. I've done 18 videos on them. I'll leave a link down below. It's not just Fenty Beauty. I feel like these body shimmer products, you guys, you can just use your highlighters. You don't need these liquid. I mean, if you want to get it, great. It has pretty decent reviews, about three and a half. I'm just not, no, I'm not spending $60 on a body lava. I'd rather spend $60 on like some skincare, a facial treatment. Oh. Oh my God, my dog has kennel cough, so I don't know if you guys can hear that. He's currently on medication. Um, okay, the NARS Hot Nights Face Palette. That is not for, what is that? So it says you get four, oh, okay. So you get four eyeshadows, a bronzer, um, and a highlighter. That's not bad. I just. I don't know, 60 bucks. I guess that's not bad if you like all the shades. They just don't speak to me. It looks a little boring. Um, the highlighter looks pretty. It's just, I don't know. I guess I'm becoming a lot more picky with makeup because if I'm gonna pay $60, I need to be excited by the product and that just doesn't excite me. It looks like a nice pink and purple everyday palette with a bronzer and a highlighter. Here's something I definitely won't be picking up. The Dyson Supersonic Mother's Day gift set. So it looks like you get a brush, a comb, and then their dryer. Have any of you tried this? Oh, you get a diffuser, a storage mat, styling concentrator, and a smoothing nozzle for $399. Have any of you tried the Dyson hair care products? If you have, let me know what you think. It has no reviews yet. I think it just came out recently. But boy, that's a pretty penny. I won't be picking that up. I am interested to hear your thoughts though on the Dyson hair dryers. If you've tried them, let me know what you this think. This is something that's new and limited ed limited edition is the Givenchy Le Rouge lipstick for $40. The packaging is gorgeous. Let's see how many shades. It looks like there's only one shade that's limited edition. The packaging is beautiful, but it's a muted red, orange and i just don't think that would look really nice on my skin tone it says inspired by the couture designs of claire Waite keller white i think it's white keller beautiful packaging i just don't think the color would work on my skin tone but if you pick it up let me know what you think i tend to use the sale as a time to buy very expensive stuff um if you go and watch my wish list video Actually, I did two. I did a wish list video going over my ultimate wish list. All that stuff is like real expensive. Um, 
And I recently did, oh my God, did you guys hear that? I recently did one where I, are you okay? Talk, poor dog, he went to daycare and like, Twice a year when he, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. You're probably like, what are you talking about? Twice a year when he goes to daycare, he gets kennel cough. And the vet was like, keep taking him. Um, he, he said to take him once he gets better because it helps to like, he needs to be around other dogs. Poor dog. But you can't take him when he's sick. But I've tried changing daycares. I go to the nice fancy ones. He's still, he's like a sensitive little frou-frou dog. So anyways, don't feel too bad for him. He's on meds and he's medicated, poor doggy. Um, so I tend to use the sale to pick up really expensive stuff just because Sephora doesn't give you money off very often. So if you watch my videos, you'll see that I usually pick up expensive stuff. So whole tangent was to say, if you do pick up that lipstick, let me know what you think. <laughs> bad because every time you okay you okay every time he coughs he looks at me like i'm sorry i'm like it's okay it's okay good boy good boy come here come on do you want to be on camera come here you feeling bad oh, doggy you tell everybody about your kennel cough you guys say kennel cough Oh, your little heart is beating so fast. I'm so sorry, Tubbs. I'm so sorry. You're not feeling good? I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Next up from Too Faced, we have their Mr. Chiseled Contour Brush. 30 bucks. Definitely don't need it. It's very cute, but you guys know how I feel about Too Faced. I'm kind of like wishy-washy with them. But Sephora Collection brushes are amazing. Sephora Collection is Sephora's brand, like their brand, their own brushes. Very great, last me for years. I'll leave a link to them down below, they're awesome. Next up, another thing from Too Faced, we have their Natural Lust Palette. That palette looks boring as hell to me. Now, don't get your panties in a bunch, ladies. I'm not saying that it's not a, a good palette for someone, just for me. I mean, hello, you're probably looking at my eye look right now and you're probably like, you look like a clown. You've got blue, you've got yellow, you've got purple. I'm not a neutral girl that looks like 50 shades of brown to me with like one blue and one navy blue. Oh my gosh. But it's very highly reviewed. It almost has five stars, so people are loving it. It's just the color, the, uh, wow. And there's a lot of um, eyeshadows in there. Let me see, two, four, six, two four six so 36 shades for 60 bucks isn't bad it's just not my cup let me know what you are not picking up during the sale like is there something that everybody's raving about that you're like hell no nikki i am not picking up let me know in the comments if you haven't seen the video where i talk about my ultimate wish list of everything i want from sephora for this sale check it out right here